BC, make some noise. No, no, no. And they, they wanted me to talk about uh, relationships up here. Anybody in a relationship? Married? Married people, make some noise. Whatever, whatever. Single people, make some noise. There's a lot of y'all in here. Like a gang of y'all up in here. And I, I know why they asked me, because I have a good perspective on it. You know, my parents were married this past August for 48 years. Give it up. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. They were separated for the last 24 of them, but the point is, they're still married. They can skip into heaven hand in hand, is all I'm saying. They're doing the right thing. And I'm going to tell you, I'm single. It's a recession. Not really having a good time with it. Because, ladies, all y'all have to do is get ready and be cute. Brothers got to make business decisions when we decide what we're doing. <laughs> like, I drove from my house in Inglewood to a lady's house in Burbank. Got to her front door. She said, where are we going? I said, back inside. <laughs> I just put dinner in a movie and my gas saying to get out here. I hope you got Netflix, because I love that. I love Netflix. <laughs> love Netflix. <laughs> I met a lady. I met a lady here. Three weeks ago at church, she was a stunner. I said, thank you, Jesus. This might be the one. I said, oh, I would really like to take you out. Where do you live? She said, I live in Lancaster. I said, that ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> Get thee behind me, Satan. You trying to play with my emotions. The devil is a liar. My wife lives in Inglewood. <laughs> Five mile radius. I know it, Jesus. Thank you. Mama stay, mama stop, mama to stop. Y'all so silly. Stop it. Y'all so silly. <laughs> but I don't do argument because it's too much stress. Like, I was going out with this lady for like three weeks. We argued every day. And I was like, um, no, this is not going to work for you, boy. I quit. <laughs> and this is exactly what she said. True story. Well, that's good. You didn't deserve me because if you can't put up with my worst, you don't deserve my best. I said, first of all, those are wedding vows. <laughs> those are not in the dating manual. Teenagers, if you are a parent of a teenager, let me hear you make some noise. Teenage girls make some noise. I still don't understand why y'all are cheering about that. I have a teenage girl. Teenage parents make me understand what this face is. It's called teenage Tourette's. Because it only happens when you ask them to do something, like chores around the house. Like put up the dishes. Why? Because you don't pay no rent, and I can't throw you out. But I told my daughter, at 16, she could start dating. Man, man y'all with me on that? 16 is a good age? No. Here's my thing. I don't want my daughter to be 29 still living with me because I said, no, you wait too long to start dating. Because at that point, she's not my daughter. She's a roommate. She ain't put in on a light bill. I'm like, Daddy, what are we doing today? Trying to find you a husband. You need to go. It's a bachelor pad. You tripping. I said 16 was a good age, but everybody got to meet her father. That's all I'm saying. So at 16, of course, all the boys start calling. I try not to be overly fatherly with it. Try to let her have her little space. Till this one dude called, and he had more bass in his voice than Carl Gilliard. <laughs> and I said, uh, who is that? And she was like, ah, because that's what they do when you ask them a question. It's like they smack their lips, cough, and sneeze all at the same time. Ah, ah. And I was like, bless you. I said, who is that? She went, uh, bless you again. That's just my friend, Henry. I said, you're going to have to hang up the phone. She was like, Daddy, why are you tripping? I said, I'm not tripping. Here's my problem. I don't know no new dude's name, Henry. The youngest dude I know named Henry is 56. <laughs> Ain't no new dude's name, Henry, and no new women named Gladys. They come into the world at 33, so you have to hang up the phone. Little arrogant dude gonna call back. I said, look here, old dude name. My daughter is 16, old dude name, and there would be no R. Kelly going on up in here. Do we understand each other? Old dude name. He said, I'm sorry, sir. I was named after my grandfather. I said, you need to get you a new dude nickname, like Lil H and Hen Hen. <laughs> hey, y'all, that's my time. Y'all enjoy the rest of the show. My name is Kip A. Scott. God bless.